hi guys welcome back to my channel happy new year happy new year 2020 this is the first official video that I am filming in the new year so it's 2020 and you've started your new healthy lifestyle how is it going I hope it's going okay so in this video I'm gonna be sharing with you points and tips that I would give you some of them I wish I knew when I am back on my journey back in 2018 just briefly, I went on a lifestyle change back in May 2018. I decided to um, basically give this weight loss thing uh, another go. Um, I have been, I had been overweight all my life, pretty much from the age of 12, 13. I remember being on some sort of diet, but it took me. Ah, maybe about 20 odd years to finally figure out what works for me. I lost about 70 pounds. I gained a few pounds over the holidays. I'm not even going to lie. And I'm also in that boat where I'm trying to get rid of those extra pounds that I acquired during the festive period so we're all in the same boat to be honest if you have um sort of made a pledge to yourself to be more healthier this year i applaud you well done it's an amazing decision and i would say from experience that it's the best decision that you would ever make for yourself so kudos to you for taking that first step so the Tips that I'm going to be giving in this video would basically be things that I wish that I knew before I started my weight loss journey. And I'm hoping that these tips would help someone out there who um, is embarking on this journey. So if you would like to know what these points are, then keep on watching. My first point will be that you are not going to lose this weight overnight. It took you a while to put on this weight, I'm assuming. So it's going to take you a while to get it off. So my advice would be to set realistic expectations for yourself. Don't rush the process. Don't go to the extreme and do things that might hurt you. So make sure that you pace yourself. Pace yourself, you know, slowly but surely the weight will come off. Okay. So give yourself maybe nine months, a year to get to whatever goal you're trying to achieve. And trust me, if you have that mindset then of not rushing things, then week by week, you would be absolutely fine. My second point will be that consistency is key. We hear this all the time. You did not, you know, get unhealthy or be overweight due to the fact that you ate one cookie. And you're not gonna get smaller or healthier just by eating one salad a week. So you need to make sure that whatever you're doing, you are consistent with it. You follow your healthy eating or your exercise plan consistently in terms of, it's something that you do day in, day out, week by week, month by month and then you would see results that way. That you would want to quit? Yes. There will be days when you feel like, no, I can't do this. I really can't. It's too difficult. I want to eat a cupcake. I want to eat something um, that is not in the plan. You would want to quit every time, and that's normal, but you wouldn't quit. You would keep going. And um, yeah, so just to let you know that there will be times when you want to pack it in, you want to throw in the towel, but just keep going and results will come. There will be times where you will slip up, you will cheat per se, or you would eat something that is not in the plan, you would go off plan. There will be times when that happens and that's okay too. We're human. No one is perfect because if we were all perfect, then we would not be in this situation we find ourselves. So forgive yourself for those times when you sleep up and just get back on um, and keep going pretty much. Another tip that I would um, give is that during the course of your journey, make sure you take pictures. Take pictures from when you start to see how your, your body looks like. 
um, if you want to weigh yourself do that too so you know where you're starting from but the thing with the scale that I advise is don't get too fixated on the scale this is where the pictures come in so you can see yourself um, when you start and take pictures maybe every month that even when the scale is not saying what you wanted to say at least when you take pictures and you compare it to where you were before you would see you know maybe inches or difference in the pictures so make sure you concentrate more on the way your body feels in your clothes and the way um, the changes in the pictures even when the scale is not saying what you wanted to say talking about the scales do not rely on the scale as your only measure of success um, take a take take a tape measure measure yourself when you start your journey take pictures like I said um, go by how your clothes fit because sometimes um, you might fit into a, a jeans that was tight for you a month ago and um, now fits but the scale is saying you only lost one pound so I would go like I said I would basically go by how your clothes feel on you go by how your measurements go by changes and pictures and don't rely solely on um, the scale because the scale can be a hater also celebrate those non-scale victories for me it used to be like me being able to zip up my coat um, or even me being able to cross my legs so go by those non-scale victories that the scale might not always celebrate so go by little things like that that gives you that reassurance that you're moving in the right direction another point that I would stress is that you can never go back to the way you used to eat you can never ever go back to the way you used to eat and think that you're going to retain the same um, sort of figure, the same body. This lifestyle is a forever thing, guys. It's not a temporary thing, whatever you decide to do. Um, I am on a ketogenic diet, in case you're new to my channel. I am doing keto for health reasons and also because it helps me. It's the most effective way for me to keep my weight down. So that's why I do keto. I'm not saying it's the only way. I'm just saying that whatever you decide to do, you need to stick to this for the rest of your life. If you revert back to eating unhealthily like you used to, then it's only inevitable that the weight will come back. I promise you. So you can never go back to the way life used to be. So you need to embrace your new life and just keep at it. It needs to be a forever lifestyle. Okay? Okay. I would say that another point is that one size doesn't fit all. Going back to me saying that I'm on the keto diet but that doesn't mean that's what I'm saying is the best for everybody I know myself I have experimented with a lot of diets in the past and this one is the best one that I can say for me has helped me get rid of some of the health issues that I had kept my weight off helps me look amazing helps me feel amazing if you find a lifestyle for yourself whatever it is that does all those things for you then by all means please stick to it one size doesn't fit all you know yourself more than anybody else so stick to what makes you happy stick to what you can sustain stick to what makes you feel great about yourself and at the end of the day stick to what helps you to achieve your goals okay lastly I would say that it's going to be hard. I'm not going to lie. It's not going to be a walk in the park. It's not going to be a breeze. There will be days when you would like struggle. The struggle will be so real. But guess what? It will be worth it in the end. Stick at it. I am rooting for you all. I hope we all achieve our goals in this year 2020. Whatever those weight loss, healthy lifestyle goals are. By all means, keep at it, never give up. It will get hard, but you would never give up, okay? I hope these points were helpful and useful for you guys. And I, like I said, I wish you all the best in your weight loss goals and 
aspirations you would take stock this time next year and be glad that you started this journey you'd be glad that you stuck at it you'd be glad that you didn't give up and I wish you all the best in your goals I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful in one way or the other if you did then give this video a thumbs up I guess I'll catch you guys in another video very soon take care guys